Hey guys, it's Daryl and Noob here, back with another Roblox scripting tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to make, how you can use tween position to make a moving GUI. So let's get into it. First, you're going to want to add, or er, add a screen GUI into start a GUI, as is normal. going to add a frame. Let's just make this this size. We'll go right here, right in the middle. And then we're gonna want to add a text button into screen GUI. Name anything you want. I'll just name it. Just keep it like that. And I'll just move it here. I'm not gonna be editing these because I just wanna do a quick little tutorial. By the way, guys, I'm back. I actually broke my arm, but now it's feeling pretty good, so that's why I've been uploading. But yeah. So in text button, I want to add a local script. And then in that local script, we're going to type local frame equals script.parent.parent.frame and enter and do local button equals script.parent. Then we're going to do local visible equals false. Okay, so you're going to do button, mouse button, and click, connect function like so and then you're gonna want to type if visible equals equals um false then visible equals true and then you this is the kind of hard part but it's fine you can do frame uh tween position and then you're going to type udin 2new and you want to go back to here, click on your frame, and look at its position. You're going to find it, you're going to click on it, and copy it, like so, or you can just control C, and go into local script, and paste that uh, in, so you can see, and delete these little bracket things, so it's only numbers. Then you're going to do comma space enum dot easing direction dot out comma enum dot easing style dot linear or you can do anything I prefer linear because it's pretty good and then comma the speed which you want it at so I'm just going to put it point three comma false okay like that, and then you're going to do else if visible equals true, then visible equals false, and you're just going to want to copy this, like that, down, paste that in, and the only thing you're going to want to change is this right here, so you can put it like right Here, just move it all the way out like this so it's not visible and copy that position control C and just paste it in remember oh, to remove the brackets and you should be good to go so let's test this out. Just loading really quick. Okay, click it, and you see it slides in. Click it again, it slides out. So guys, that will be it for today's tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.